At the moment, things are looking gorgeous from the view here at La Terrasse at uh, Fairmont Chateau. Laurier, I'm teamed up with their executive chef, Louis Simard, and uh, we're talking about the uh, the menu here at La Terrasse. Okay, we've got some onions, some garlic. I'm on the brink of making you burn it. What do we need to add? <laughs> we're gonna, we have a uh, tomato broth. Okay. Okay. Um, we're gonna add some, your favorite beer. We uh, we can use gluten-free beer also. This is Lake Grist. Okay. But uh, any local, like we have Bose, we have uh, Krumbacher, any local beer would be really, really good. Okay, and I understand that you are a beer, a bit of a beer man. Yes, I uh, brew my own. I love beer. I think uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, different uh, palette of, of beer you can make. So it's you know, I, I I never think to to cook with it. So uh, I, I need to pick your brain here. What are we making? We got we're gonna make our mussel and fries. Okay. Um, Moulet frit, classic terrace patio uh, dish. Mm -hmm. uh, perfect for a nice glass of wine, nice beer on the patio. Well, and that's one of the nicest things about the menu here at La Terrasse. The cocktail selection is huge. Amazing. Because Amazing. that's such an important part when you're sitting out in the sun, enjoying the view. You need a nice cocktail to go along with uh, with the food, right? Absolutely. So uh, while we're letting the uh, mussels simmer, what are some of the other things that we'll find on the menu? Uh, we have a lot of fresh salad. We've got some radish with uh, asparagus and ricotta. we got a tomato watermelon salad. Salad. What's so, the lobster cob salad? I saw that one as well. Are you using full pieces of lobster? Absolutely, and uh, it's uh, it's like a classic cob with uh, chicken, but instead think about it a little reve revamped with lobster, fresh okay. corn. And one of the things that I've been hearing over and over again throughout this morning, even though it was about 6 a.m. when we first got here, is the burger. <laughs> Is something oh, yeah. that must be tried. Chateau Burger. We uh, when you when you order a burger somewhere, you expect a burger. You don't you don't want uh, a small little thing, a healthy. Right? So it's a burger, but how do you incorporate short ribs into it? Braised short rib, uh, cheese, tomato, pickle, oh. lettuce. We got our special sauce on there. Onion rings. It's uh, it's a uh, definitely a jaw dropper when it comes to your table. Okay, if you need somebody uh, for quality control later, please test your burger. I would be happy. Why do we have chorizo out here? Chorizo, it's uh, this is from seed to sausage, one of the local charcuterie here. Okay. Um, and it's uh, w probably one of the best. Uh, it's got that smokiness. It's got that peppery. Uh, pepperiness. So there's two different types of mussel we offer. One is just white wine, herbs, and uh, this one's got, it's got a little bit more of a spice, a little bit more of a kick. Match really well with uh, with fresh mussels. So. Mm, that's nice. Okay, is there a certain way that I need to be cutting it here? Uh, about this size. Okay. So show me your technique. Do you put it into, into circles first and then cut them into squares? Oh, uh, you can do. This is the the beauty about cooking. You can do the way you want. Um, you can cut it in half and then cut it in half again. Mm. Now this is a dry chorizo sausage. Yep. So it's uh, there's fresh and raw. Um, uh, and this one is actually cured dry. So you, you don't need to cook it. It's already cured and cooked. Okay, well I would hope it's already cooked. You just let me eat it. <laughs> I'm just eating raw sausage over here. Okay, so, so there's your sausage already. or the white wine. And uh, one of the things that I've noticed in looking through the menu is that you're using uh, a whole lot of locally produced meats. Why is it important for, for you to source ingredients that are from uh, the area. The closer it is, the fresher it is, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it didn't uh, have to go through transport. It's it's right here. Some uh, some beautiful local farmer, organic. Uh, so we're using the local stuff. It's what we got to do. Yeah, we've got quality around us. Why would we not embrace that, right? Exactly. Okay. I'm going to turn the, uh, the burner so I don't burn myself here. Gotcha. So we got our muscle here. So once they're nice and open, ready to eat. Hey, Louis, actually, that's a good question. What does it mean if a mussel is served to you and the shell is closed? That means the mussel was dead before it was cooked. So I would uh, strongly suggest not eating it. It, uh, it could uh, uh, make you sick a little bit. OK. Uh, it's OK if there's one or two in your, in your bowl that is not cooked, but yeah. uh, uh, I wouldn't eat it. Okay. And would you send it back if there's a certain number of mussels that haven't opened? One or two, it's it's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, but uh, if it's uh, if it's the majority of your mussel, definitely send it back. Okay. Okay. Not that that would happen here at Never. La Terrasse, but just so you know. Okay. So there we've got our uh, mussel and frites. So it's Will one of the uh, items that you'll find here on the menu.